Hey guys, Antonio here again with some more Lincoln on Leadership, uh, Executive Strategies for Tough Times. Fortunately, today is the last chapter, um, and we will be talking about preaching the vision and continually reaffirming it. Um, so, I know I've talked about this a lot here and there, uh, a little bit in Grant Cardone's uh, 10x rules, uh, 10x uh, success, and, um, and I've talked about it throughout this book, but you definitely need a vision um, for your business. And we're gonna go over a couple of ways that you can have that. Uh, first is obviously have a clear, concise statement of where your company's going, what you like the company to do. Um, a, lot of, a lot of companies have this, and a lot of the successful ones know where they're going, so they know how to compare their actions with excuse me, their mission statement. If their mission statement says, we want to, if, if, a, if a organization is a charity, right, and they have a mission statement of helping, helping those with cancer, and they start giving money to diabetes researchers, uh, that wouldn't make any sense because their, their direction of the organization is to help fight cancer, not to fight diabetes. So it's, it's, it's key for you to have a clear, concise statement of where you're going, where you would like to be, and that's how you compare your actions to it. Um, two, is constantly reaffirm that vision at any opportunity you get. Because after hearing the vision one time, you might be, okay, like that's what, that's what we're about. Then two days later, three days later, you start to forget about the vision, you get a little lost um, as a subordinate. Uh, even as the person who came up with the vision, you need to constantly reaffirm it. Constantly make sure that you keep going back and focusing on your goals. Um, this is similar to where Grant Cardone said in 10x Success, how he was talking about um, how he was talking about writing down his goals every morning and night, and every time that he felt a setback, he would write down his goals to keep him focused on the end goal. Compare his actions and what he's doing to the end goal. You can always compare it to the end goal and you'll constantly have that motivation and desire to keep going. Fourth thing here is when you're preaching to your subordinates, don't try to aim too high because when you're aiming too high, it's going to fly right over them. Um, not saying that they're not going to understand it, but they won't be able to feel and They'll, they'll, they'll believe that what you're doing is crazy. You don't want them to think that it's crazy. You want them to think that it's doable and at the same time, um, uh, it's a little bit out of reach. So it needs to be a little bit out of reach but not too far out of reach when you explain it to them. So although your private goal might be a little bit higher, you need to make sure that the goal uh, is a little bit smaller behind closed uh, when you're talking to them about it. And fourth thing is when you're renewing the goal, when you're reaffirming it, you need to call onto a past point, relate it to the present, and use both to provide a link to the future. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read part of uh, Lincoln's, I believe it was the Gettysburg Address. Let's see, um, on how he, he did this exactly. Um, so this is how he talks to the past. He says, Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. So he's talking about here, um, in the past they believed that we created this nation based off of liberty, and that all men are created equal. Now he talks to the present, and he goes, Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. So that's how he talked about the, the present. And now he's going to renew the vision by saying, but in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate... We cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated for it, have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. 
It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here in the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take in increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. So if you can see there, what he did was he took the vision and said, these people died for the vision. You need to now not let them die in vain, and you need to be, be even more motivated than them to go attack this problem. And then, and then he talks to the, about to the future, and he goes, and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from this earth. Reinstating his vision. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter and ultimately this book. This was the last chapter. Um, if you like a copy of this book, check out the description down low. Uh, this should have a copy of the link of book on Amazon. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe to see future books, well, I'll be talking about The Richest Man in Babylon next. Um, I will be uh, starting that tomorrow. And if you'd like to talk about more books, leave the comment down low on what future books you'd like to do and uh, hear me talk about. And um, uh, let me know what you guys think about this book overall. And share it on social media with others if, uh, if you think it pertains to them. Alright guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow.